The University of Iowa includes more than 30,000 students. There are more than 4,000 international students. Among them, there are more than 2,000 Chinese students. Not all the Chinese students could directly take the UI classes after arriving at the university. Last year, there are more than 200 students near to take the English as a second language courses, and 35 Chinese students needed to study at the Iowa Intensive English program at first. Actually, after I came to Iowa, I took a test, and they didn't tell me the result of the test. They just directly put me into four ESL course. But actually, I think I don't need to take the oral and as well as the reading, since I almost got the 100% on my TOEFL test. They take that and maybe they don't score high enough on that to do regular courses and so they might have one or two classes in high IEP for one semester. I think there's no transparency for students. It's very unfair for students if they didn't know the score but they took the ESL course. We're fixing it. You used to get a paper with all your scores on it. Now, because there are 600, and we don't use, it, it's not the paper that gets sent to the advisor anymore, but only the results. But starting again in August, we will be doing that again, because that's very important for students to have that. It needs to be expanded and improved. They need to communicate better. Why they do that is to help the students to have a strong foundation in the language so that they will understand what's being said. I think that um, a lot of students, and, and it's a lot like that in, in for domestic students in other gen ed courses, you know, they might have to, when they're, when they're accepted into the institution, their math might not be as good as it needs to be. So they might end up in a remedial kind of math class or English as a first language with the English court rhetoric and things like that. But, you know, they, so based on transcripts, based upon assessment, the, the university tries to make sure that all the students have as strong a foundation as possible in order to move forward. And so I think that when students are put into the ESL classes, um, it might be considered that their English isn't quite where it needs to be and they don't want them to get lost 